Good morning, readers and writers. Welcome to Tuesday's version of Common Word Study. Woohoo! Today we are going to look at the word part sub, S U B. Sub simply means under. It means under whatever it's attached to. If you remember, um, words like sub, word parts like sub, that come at the beginning of an existing word are called prefixes. So sub is a prefix. The origin of sub comes from the Latin language. And I have some great examples for you today of words that contain the prefix sub. The first word is subway. Now, I know what you're thinking. You are thinking subway sandwiches, subway restaurant, fast food, we can get the sub sandwiches. Um, that, that was named for an existing word subway. And in order to know why subways are called subways, you have to understand what the sandwich is called itself. It is called a sub sandwich, but it's short for a submarine sandwich. And if you can envision a submarine, you know it's a long, kind of a thinner vessel that goes underneath the water. The sub sandwich actually resembles a submarine. That's why they named it a sub sandwich or a submarine sandwich. Now we just shortened it to sub sandwich and thus we have the restaurant Subway. But that's not the only meaning of the word Subway. A subway is actually a form of transportation. We don't really have any in the Milwaukee or Waukesha area, but in the major cities like New York and San Francisco and, and Los Angeles, there is a what was called a subway. And what that is, it's a it's kind of looks like a train car or, or you know railway system underneath major cities. Um, it's called a subway because it goes beneath the main roads. It kind of travels underground and it, it gets you from one section of the city to another in a much faster way because once it takes off from its um, little station it pretty much takes you there within minutes where if you were trying to cross traffic above ground in the cities it could take you sometimes an hour to go the same distance. So that's what a subway is known for. It's it's an underground system of transportation kind of like a, I guess you could say a railway underground and it's the whole point of it is to expedite or to make faster your travel throughout the cities. So that's the first word, subway. The second word is submerge. If you submerge something, you take it and you push it below something else. Most often we hear people talking about uh, submerging something in water. That's a very common use of the word submerge. And if I'm going to submerge, like for example, if I'm going to submerge my head under the water, um, I would just completely dunk my head below the surface of the water. That would be submerging my head in water. You won't see that very often because just so you know, I hate to get my hair wet. <laughs> um, so anything uh, submerged is where it, it is. it goes below the surface of something else. Most often you hear that in water, with water use. The third word, of course, I mentioned it earlier, is submarine. Now submarine is a vessel. It's a kind of a of a, a ship, if you will, but it travels completely under the water. It surfaces to load and unload, but then once it gets underway, it dips below the surface of the water. And the whole point is sometimes it nautically it can move faster beneath the water and a lot of times it's more stealth that way. You guys know what stealth means. It means kind of sneaky. Um, you don't always see it coming. You need radar to be able to spot where a submarine is, is headed or where the location of a sub would be. So that's why it's called a submarine. A marine vessel is something that goes in water. Submarine means it goes beneath the surface of the water. Okay, so sub is a very common word part. You're going to see it all over the place. Keep your eyes open for it. When you see it at the beginning of a word, like a, with a prefix and attached to an existing word, ask yourself, okay, this word has something to do with under. So what does it mean? Okay, have a great day, readers and writers. See you tomorrow.